Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. On this video we will talk about the lunar rock samples that have been brought by Apollo 11 mission or the Apollo team from the moon surface for scientific studies. Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only, any information and images are taken from the article posted online. Apollo 11, was the spaceflight that landed the first two humans on the moon. It was launched on July 16, 1969, and landed on the moon on July 20, 1969. The mission was carried out by NASA, the United States Space Agency, and was a significant event in the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union. The crew of Apollo 11 consisted of three astronauts, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. Armstrong and Aldrin became the first and second humans to walk on the lunar surface, while Collins remained in orbit around the moon. The lunar module, named Eagle, landed on the moon's surface on July 20, 1969. Neil Armstrong famously declared, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, as he stepped onto the moon's surface. Buzz Aldrin joined him shortly afterward, and the pair spent about two and a half hours exploring the lunar landscape, collecting samples, and conducting experiments. After spending 21 hours and 36 minutes on the lunar surface, the astronauts lifted off and rejoined Collins in the command module. They returned to Earth on July 24, 1969, splashing down in the Pacific Ocean. The success of Apollo 11 was a major achievement for NASA and the United States, and it represented a significant step forward in human space exploration. The mission demonstrated the technological capabilities of mankind and marked a defining moment in history, inspiring future generations to pursue space exploration and scientific discovery. The Apollo 11 samples create an iconic collection since they were the first rocks collected by humankind that were returned to Earth from another solar system body. The Apollo 11 team collected and returned 22 kilograms of rock and soil samples, and here are the rock sample that was collected by Apollo 11 mission, let's start from. 10,003 Vesicula Ilmenite basalt, 10,003 is one of the earliest samples collected during the Apollo missions. It is a medium-grained buggy, ilmenite basalt. It weighed 213 grams before analysis and is 3.9 billion years old. The rock has an ophitic texture, larger pyroxene crystals enclose earlier formed plagioclase feldspar. Apart from ilmenite, pyroxene and plagioclase feldspar, the sample contains small amounts of olivine, cristobalite, troilite, and iron sulfide, rutile metallic iron and AK-rich glass. The sample also contains a feldspar-rich xenolith. Chemical analyses of the olivine and pyroxene crystals show large compositional variations from enstatite to ferrocelite and augite to pigeonite respectively. Type. Igneous. Rock-forming mineral. Feldspar pyroxene ilmenite. Accessory minerals. Glass cristobalite troilite rutile olivine. 10009 regolith breccia. 10009 is a tough, medium gray, Regolith breccia, weight 112 grams, containing about 20% of lunar highland material, anorthosite. Additionally the sample contains fragments of basalt, fragmental mineral grains and both colorless and orange glass. The glass is either fragmental or forms near-perfect spheres. The minerals olivine, pyroxene, plagioclase feldspar and ilmenite have all been reported from this sample in minor amounts. By far the greatest constituent is the dark matrix, modal abundance estimated to be 58%. NASA reports that the sample may be part of a shatter cone. Type. Metamorphic. Rock-forming mineral. Feldspar pyroxene. Accessory minerals. Glass troilite metallic iron. 10,017 fine-grained ilmenite basalt. 10,017 is the largest rock sample returned by the astronauts on the Apollo 11 mission to the moon. It is a fine-grained, vesicular, ilmenite basalt that crystallized around 3.6 billion years ago. The entire surface of the sample is covered in micrometeorite craters, pits indicating that since being exposed at the moon's surface it is has rolled around to that all its faces have at some point been exposed. Scientists have determined that this sample has lain at the surface for 480 million years, so there has been plenty of time for local impacts to cause it to move. In the thin section, the high concentration of ilmenite in the sample causes it to have a high tea content, enough for the sample to be desived as a high tea basalt. Other major minerals include plagioclase feldspar and clinopyroxene. Between this framework of crystals is an interstitial high-K glass. The rock is vesicular, meaning that there must have been gas exsolving as it erupted, and has a heterogeneous tether caused by mineral segregations and differences in grain size. Troilite and iron sulfide, cristobalite and phosphate have also been reported, although only in very minor amounts. Type. Igneous. Rock-forming mineral. Feldspar pyroxene ilmenite. Accessory minerals. Troilite metallic iron cristobalite glass. 
10,018 regolith breccia. 10,018 is a rounded, dark gray, regolith breccia, weight 213 grams, similar in composition to iron-rich lunar soil samples. It has a glassy matrix in which are found basalt fragments, anorthosite fragments, pieces of lunar highland rocks, minerals, glass welded aggregates, agglutinate, and a range of different types of glass fragments. Overall the rock appears to be a high glass breccia with minor crystalline inclusions. Type. Metamorphic. Rock forming mineral. Feldspar pyroxene glass. Accessory minerals. Ilmenite troilite. 10,020 Ilmenite basalt. 10,020 is a variety of fine-grained ilmenite rich basalt with low potassium concentrations like many of the lunar mare basalts. The sample is rounded and covered with micrometeorite craters. It has been formed from a high T. Bay rich volcanic liquid that cooled rapidly and contains both Mg rich olivine, as phenocrysts, and cristobalite in the fine grained ground mass. It crystallized 3.77 billion years ago and has been exposed at the surface for around 130 million years. The overall texture in thin section is characterized by an open network of randomly oriented plagioclase laths and ilmenite platelets. Olivine phenocrysts are up to three times as large as the other major minerals and are commonly clumped together in groups, suggesting that olivine may have formed before the magma was extruded. Type. Igneous. Rock-forming mineral. Olivine feldspar pyroxene. Accessory minerals. Chromite ulvospinal ilmenite troilite metallic iron. 10,021 regolith breccia. Sample 10,021 is a mature friable soil regolith breccia. It was collected as part of the contingency sample from the area immediately in front of the lunar module. The sample contingency bag also contains samples 10,023, 10,025, 10,027 and 10,028, some or all of which may be pieces of the same. The matrix of 10,021 is dark brown black glass which contains large accretionary structures and relic agglutinates. Glass spheres and fragments are common. The largest fragments seen in thin section are mare basalt and gabbroic anorthosite from the lunar highlands. Devitrified glass shards and crystal fragments, plagioclase feldspar, pyroxene and ilmenite mainly, complete the assemblage. A few grains of troilite yellow and metallic iron, silvery gray, are visible in reflected light. Type. Metamorphic. Rock-forming mineral. Pyroxene glass. Accessory minerals. Ilmenite troilite metallic iron. 10,022 Ilmenite Basalt. 10,022 is a fine-grained, vesicular, ilmenite-rich basalt with relatively high potassium content. It was collected close to where the lunar module touched down on the surface of the moon. It crystallized 3.6 billion years ago and has been exposed at the surface for around 500 million years. The most notable feature of the thin section in the hand specimen are the near-spherical holes which formed during eruption while the magma erupted as a liquid and remained in the rock after it cooled. They give an indication of the high concentrations of gas that were dissolved in the liquid magma and exsolved into bubbles during the eruption. Plagioclase feldspar and pyroxene, both augite and pigeonite, are the major silicate minerals in this rock. They are accompanied by the black, opaque, oxide mineral, ilmenite which unusually displays two habits, both tabular and platy. Armalkalite is a rare Mg Fe T oxide mineral first discovered in this and a few other Apollo 11 rocks. The mineral was unknown at the time on Earth and the name was derived from the three astronauts who manned Apollo 11. Type. Igneous. Rock-forming mineral. Feldspar pyroxene ilmenite. Accessory minerals. Olivine troilite metallic iron armalkalite glass. 10,023 regolith breccia. Sample 10,023 is a coherent regolith breccia with many micrometeorite pits on the top, rounded surface. It was collected as part of the contingency sample and returned in air with the crew to the Lunar Receiving Laboratory at NASA. Detailed investigations reveal that 10,023 contains mare basalt fragments, lunar highland fragments, anorthosite, regolith breccia, agglutinates, clasts of pyroxene, olivine, plagioclase feldspar, ilmenite, orange glass and other glass, all cemented by a dark matrix, about 40% of the rock is matrix. The glass has been divided into different types, heterogeneous, homogeneous, devitrified and glass-welded aggregates. 27% of the sample is poor space. Additionally, in reflected light, rare small yellow crystals of troilite and silvery metallic iron can be seen. Type. Metamorphic. Rock-forming mineral. Olivine pyroxene plagioclase feldspar glass. Accessory minerals. Ilmenite troilite metallic iron. 10,024 Ilmenite basalt. 10,024 is a medium-grained ilmenite-rich basalt with high potassium. 
This is one of the contingency samples collected soon after Apollo 11 landed in case the crew had to abandon later parts of the mission and return to Earth quickly. The basalt was erupted and crystallized 3.6 billion years ago and has been exposed at the surface for around 360 million years. The major constituents of this sample seen in thin section are plagioclase feldspar and two species of pyroxene, augite and pigeonite. Large grains of cristobalite have also been reported, but these are very uncommon. The holes that can be seen in the thin section views are vesicles, evidence of volcanic gases that were trapped during the formation of this rock. Type. Igneous. Rock forming mineral. Pyroxene augite pigeonite feldspar ilmenite. Accessory minerals. Olivine cristobalite troilite metallic iron glass. 10,026-17 Regolith breccia. 10,026 was collected as part of the contingency sample from the area immediately in front of the lunar module. It is similar to samples 10023-10025 from the same collection area, as well as to other Apollo 11 regolith breccias. The sample weighed 9.3 grams before analysis and has not been dated. Type. Metamorphic. Rock-forming mineral. Pyroxene plagioclase feldspar glass. Accessory minerals. Ilmenite troilite metallic iron. 10,029 ilmenite basalt. Sample 10,029 is a small 5-gram sample of lunar basalt that appears to have rusted cube as 1 cm across. It crystallized 3.9 billion years ago and has been exposed at the surface of the moon for 130 million years. This sample was the subject of some controversy since the rust implies the presence of water on the moon. However, later studies appear to show that the sample, which was returned in air, rusted only after it was returned in the moist atmosphere of Earth. The sample has an ophitic texture, a term that is used to describe the blocky grains of ilmenite black in transmitted light minor olivine, and plagioclase feldspar laps all enclosed in much coarser grain pyroxene. The rusting is seen in thin section as brown, staining, surrounding the iron-rich minerals troilite and metallic iron which are easily identified in reflected light. The rust has the composition of a cognate, a hydrated ferric iron oxide. Type. Igneous. Rock-forming mineral. Feldspar pyroxene ilmenite. Accessory minerals. Acognate troilite metallic iron. 10031 High K Ilmenite Basalt. 10031 is a high K Ilmenite basalt. The rock cooled quickly quenched after eruption and texturally it can be described as a vitrifier, a glass-rich rock with some larger crystals. The rock was erupted and cooled around 3.6 billion years old ago. It contains phenocrysts of olivine and the rare iron magnesium titanite, armalkalite. The matrix of this volcanic rock is composed of a fine grain to glassy ground mass. The armalkalite is mantled by rutile bearing ilmenite. Platy ilmenite with feathery edges, pyroxene and minute troilite spheres can also be observed in reflected light. You may spot some small black holes in a grid pattern in the glue on this sample, we believe this may have been caused by analysis using an electron microprobe. Type. Igneous. Rock forming mineral. Olivine pyroxene feldspar glass. Accessory minerals. Armalkalite troilite metallic iron. 10032 Ilmenite basalt. Sample 10032 is a low K basalt belonging to the high K suite that crystallized 3.6 billion years ago, measured by AR. AR. It was collected as part of the contingency sample from the area immediately in front of the lunar module. Plagioclase feldspar, pyroxene and ilmenite are the three main constituents. The pyroxene crystals are chemically zoned augite to pigeonite cores. Additionally, olivine, cristobalite, phosphate and glass are present, but in low abundance. In reflected light, the iron sulfide troilite can be seen as small pale yellow crystals, some hosting minute inclusions of metallic iron. Type. Igneous. Rock-forming mineral. Feldspar pyroxene. Accessory minerals. Olivine cristobalite troilite metallic iron. 10044 Ilmenite basalt. 10044 is a gray-white, medium to coarse-grained ilmenite basalt that some authors have described as a microgabra. Crystallization age of the sample is 3.7 billion years. Its weigh is 248 grams. Mineralogically, 10044 consists of anhedral phenocrysts of pyroxene in a partially enclosing matrix of plagioclase feldspar and ilmenite. The pyroxene composition is variable with core to rim zoning from augite to the rare species pyroxperolite, a mineral first discovered in Apollo samples. Interstitial areas of the sample are filled with anhedral cristobalite, troilite containing iron blebs, K-rich glass and irregular shaped bugs up to 0.3 mm. Type. Igneous. Rock-forming mineral. Feldspar pyroxene ilmenite augite pyroxperolite. 
Accessory Minerals Tranquility ITE Troilite Metallic Iron Apatite Ulvospinal Crystobolite 10,045 Ilmenite Basalt Sample 10,045 is a fine grain, buggy to vesicular, ophytic olivine basalt. It crystallized 3.8 billion years ago and has been exposed at the surface for around 110 million years. The thin section of this sample predominantly consists of equant ilmenite crystals and laths of plagioclase feldspar enclosed by pyroxene. Olivine is a minor constituent, 3%, that is often enclosed by pyroxene. Chromite, crystobolite, apatite, K-feldspar, troilite and metallic iron are rare but have been reported in this sample. The very rare mineral species Armalkalite, named after the three astronauts who were involved in its transfer to Earth, is also present in 10045, but it's very difficult to see. It is reported as an exolution product within ilmenite grains. Type. Igneous. Rock forming mineral. Feldspar pyroxene olivine ilmenite. Accessory minerals. Apatite troilite chromite crystobolite metallic iron armalkalite. 10046 53 basaltic regolith breccia. Sample 10046 is a multi class breccia held together by a matrix of glass formed during a large meteorite impact. Small zap pits on the surface of the hand specimen mark the position of micrometeorite impacts. This specimen was collected by Neil Armstrong on 20 July 1969 during Apollo 11 the first manned mission to the moon. The fine-grained matrix glass appears black both in plain polarized light and between cross polars. The breccia contains mineral fragments ranging from a few microns across up to over 100 microns across, and rare brown volcanic glass spherules. The sample also contains larger fragments of glass and rock with a range of textures and grain sizes, and also several reworked fragments of earlier breccias. Type. Metamorphic. Rock-forming mineral. Pyroxene plagioclase feldspar ilmenite glass. Accessory minerals. Troilite metallic iron. 10047 ilmenite basalt. Sample 10047 is a relatively coarse grain. Buggy, ilmenite basalt that formed 3.7 billion years ago, method ARAR dating. It is so similar to sample 10044 that it is thought they are parts of the same block. The rock has an ophytic texture with pyroxene enclosing earlier formed plagioclase feldspar and ilmenite. The pyroxene exhibits extensive chemical zonation. Associated with these major species are lower abundances of olivine, pyroxferroite, zirconolite, batalite, phosphate difficult to see in our section crystobolite. Ulvospinal, Troilite and AK rich glass. The newly discovered species, Tranquility ITE, was also reported from this sample in 1970. Type. Igneous, rock forming mineral, plagioclase feldspar pyroxene ilmenite, accessory minerals, olivine pyroxferroite troilite crystobolite tranquility ITE zirconolite battleite. 10048 Gray Regolith Breccia. 10,048 is a gray regolith breccia, weight 579 grams, similar in composition to Apollo 11 soil. It is a glass matrix breccia derived from the soil by meteorite impact. The matrix contains small clasts of mare basalt along with orange to red glass beads approximately 100 microns across. Detailed examination of the sample has produced an estimate for the source of the regolith with about 75% thought to be local mare basalt and about 25% from the lunar highlands. Interestingly, Sample 10048 was one of those used in the biopool, samples used to check for pathogens and life forms during the initial Apollo 11 quarantine. Type. Metamorphic. Rock-forming mineral. Plagioclase feldspar pyroxene. Accessory minerals. Ilmenite troilite glass. 10049 fine-grained ilmenite basalt. 10049 is a fine-grained ilmenite basalt, weight 193 grams, that is 3.5 billion years old. It has a granular texture and in places is vesicular to buggy. An almost spherical vesicle is depicted in rotation 1 of the virtual microscope. Three species pyroxene, plagioclase feldspar and ilmenite make up the bulk of the rock and consist of anhedral or subhedral crystals in an interlocking network. The sample also contains rare olivine and a small interstitial component that includes troilite and iron sulfide with metallic iron inclusions and glass. Type. Igneous. Rock-forming mineral. Plagioclase feldspar pyroxene ilmenite. Accessory minerals. Olivine troilite glass metallic iron. 10,050 coarse. Grained ilmenite basalt. 10,050 is a fine-grained vesicular basalt that crystallized 3.75 billion years ago, measured by AR, AR. Texturally it is a coarse-grained, buggy, ophytic basalt. 
It contains amorphic inclusion, xenolith, but this is not visible in the thin section here. Plagioclase feldspar, pyroxene and ilmenite are the three main constituents. The pyroxene crystals are chemically zoned. Additionally, olivine, cristobalite, phosphate and glass are present, but in low abundance. In reflected light, the iron sulfide troilite can be seen as small pale yellow crystals, occasionally associated with iron metal, very small silvery crystals forming inclusions in the troilite. Type. Igneous. Rock-forming mineral. Plagioclase feldspar pyroxene ilmenite. Accessory minerals. Troilite metallic iron. As we close out the chapter of the Apollo 11 lunar rock samples, we want to express our gratitude for the incredible scientific advancements and knowledge gained from studying these historic artifacts. These lunar samples have sparked numerous breakthroughs and have provided us with a deeper understanding of the Moon and our universe. As we continue to explore and push the boundaries of space exploration, we will always hold these remarkable rock samples in the highest regard. Thank you for inspiring generations of scientists and dreamers to reach for the stars. That's all for now, we will continue the second part of Apollo 11 lunar rock samples on the next video. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more debunking videos. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Stay skeptical, stay informed.